Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Will. Today I am going to have a go at um, stabilising some pine cones for to make some um, pen wax. So I have recently been casting some resin and borrowing a few odds, odds and ends. So I said I'd have a go at some pine cones. So as you can see, I'm using um, cactus juice stabilising resin. So I've just took these out of the toaster oven. So I'm just going to put them in this little container. So they're really, really dry. And a little warm. And I'm going to cast these and make some uh, nice pen blanks. Pop those guys in there like that. So I'm just going to use this guy for a waste. I've been using it. He's already soaked with cactus juice. I've been using it for a, uh, just a bit of weight to keep them down because they they will float. So here's some cactus juice I, I've already used. As you see, it's actually turned a little red color because I stabilized some um, cherry. But it's it's still perfect to use. You can use it multiple times. So we'll just pour this in here. I might have to add a little bit more. Yeah, I need another little drop. As I said, you can you can re you can reuse it. So that's loads. Again, just my little bit of a weight. So you pop them there just to keep them all from floating. So now that'll stop them from floating, which is good. And I'm going to get this into the vacuum chamber. Now this is the vacuum chamber. It's um, from Viver. So it's, it's only my second time to use it. So. In goes our little pot with the cactus juice and our pine cones. So we'll sit that in there, stop them from floating. So now we'll just get the lid on and we shall activate the pump. So that's the pump there. down now into the vacuum chamber we'll get the pump going so you just press down on the lid so it's so it's sealed now so the vacuum has started Hopefully we can see the resin is starting to bubble. So the vacuum pump now is taking all the air that's in those pine cones out. So according to the gauge now I've reached full vacuum. So I'll leave the pump running now until all the bubbles have stopped coming up. So, which might take a while. So the cactus juice now has stopped um, bubbling. Um, I switched the, the vacuum pump off after about an hour and I've left it for another two and a half hours. So just under pressure or under vacuum. So there's a very odd little bubble starting to, to appear. So I'll just zoom up. So you can see we're still under full vacuum. So just, I see a very odd little bubble coming. So I think it's good enough. So I'm gonna take them out now and get them dried off and get them into the oven. I 
this is the piece I was just using for a weight. Put it in back to the bag. Seal it up. And use him again. So if you can see through the plastic, the pine cones now are staying submerged. So that means um, they're fully saturated with the cactus juice. So um, what I'm going to do now is pour off this cactus juice back into its container and I can reuse it. Cap on. Save this for another day. get off some of the excess cactus juice. Now I'm going to get these little guys into the oven. And I'll bake them for a couple of hours. So now I'm just over here at the little toaster oven and we'll get these guys in here. And I want to heat these up to um, just 200, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, 200 Fahrenheit or 93 Celsius. So my, my little oven, uh, 100 Celsius is the lowest it goes. So that will have to do. So timer the maximum i have in the timer is 60 minutes so I'll, I'll do it twice so there's the first 60 minutes on and we'll see how it goes so the oven has just switched off about 10 minutes ago so these are just done so it's just still a little bit hot So these have cooked nicely, they're nice and crisp. So these are just ready for casting. So I let them cool down and I'll get my molds ready and I'll get set to cast them with some resin. So now that's the pine cones and um, they were a little bit too wide for the mold so as you've seen I just on the belt sander I took them down a little bit now ready for casting so now I have my two molds ready with my little pine cones so I'm just going to mix up um, a bit of resin uh, the resin I'm using is um, from Decor Rum. Um, it's a one to one ratio. So I'm going to crack on and I'll get a bit of this mixed up. So that's my two cups of resin and um, I mixed it or I poured them out um, one part, one part. So I'm just going to um, start mixing. Part A of this um, resin was actually quite thick. It was hard to get it out of the, of the pump. So I think maybe future warming it up slightly might help just give them a 
sides are going to scrape as well. Make sure it all mixes up. I've introduced plenty of bubbles, so I'm hoping the pressure pot will take care of those. When you think you have it mixed, mix it a little more. A lot of the bubbles are coming up to the top, which is good. So now I have my resin mixed and I'm going to start adding a little colour. So um, first up is Hermosa pink and pink. My, uh, my daughter has this one picked out so I better, I better do a pink pen for her. Oh that is pink. See that is very pink. Resin is starting to warm up a little bit now. It's a little bit easier to mix. This resin has a working time of 45 minutes, which is gives me plenty of time. side for a minute and I'm going to mix some lake, lake blue and purplish blue you can see I'm pretty new to this none of these have been open Quite a nice colour as well. And that's the other blue. Quite nice as well. So that's my colours all mixed up. So I'm just going to leave them sit for a while because I don't want to pour them just yet. I want to try and avoid them blending. So I'm going to let them get close to their time. I can feel the resin is starting to warm up. It's actually getting about eight, eight, nine degrees warmer there just in the last few minutes. So I'll leave them. I'll leave them another while, just to set up, set up a bit more, and then I'll get them poured into the molds. So now I've left these for about fifteen minutes. So getting close to their time just check the temperature yes yeah, so it's just 105 108 105 104 106 so we're getting close now so I'm going to get them into the mold give them one more little mix as you can see I mixed up one extra one just in case I didn't have enough Poor fingers are getting a workout today. That's the two blues I want. This is the pink. So yeah. I should pour over the pink first. Is pink.
course you'll do is a little mix. It's hard to mix it with the pine cones in. So that's the pink. So I'm going to do uh, one complete red now in the middle. Well, I used uh, red and shiny white. So you can see the color there. Wiggle just to make sure there's no air bubbles underneath. So now we'll try and pour the two of them simultaneously. See if that'll work. Pine cone is moving a little. So that's the two blues. So just mixed up um, an extra little bit of glue. So now I think it's time to get these into the pressure pot. So, so now here's our molds now ready to go into the pressure pot. So now pressure pot PSI is up to 60 and um, I shall leave them for 24 hours and hopefully they set up just nice and I'll meet you back here tomorrow for getting demolded. Fingers crossed all goes well. So guys pressure pot has been left for 48 hours so um, hopefully it's done its job and the pressure has held so which is good I said it's only my second time to use the pot so I'm just going to um, vent off the pressure so that's the pressure all released so we get this toy open solid so that was successful so I'll take them over here to the workbench and we'll get them out of the molds see how they look so this was the I think the two pink ones and the red one you can see the pine cone effect so I'll get these cleaned up and get a better look at them if anyone is interested these uh, silicone molds I bought them in the range and um, they're only for um, ice but they work great for for resin as well as you can see I added a tiny little bit of silver into it at the end Maybe I didn't show it on the camera, but I did. So it turned out quite good as well. 
I said they're 48 hours, so they're, they're really solid. So I'm happy with the quality of the resin as well. So that's the red, the two pink. So this was the, I think it was blue, and I added a little bit of silver to the other two. So just having a little play with the colours. There's the blue. You can see the night the pine cone effect in it as well. So really looking forward to getting some of these turned. Yeah, so again you can see the two the two different blues I used. So again, I added a little tiny bit of silver at the end to this one, just to try something different. So I'll take these over to the belt sander now and I'll just clean, clean, clean them up a bit and see what they look like. But so far they look good. As I said, the quality of resin is, is really, really good. So I think that was a, a successful, a successful pour. So I'll just quickly I'll just show you I done some um, I done some um, resin and burl so I think this was um, Ellen burr so they turned out quite nice as well there's one in blue Ellen burr there's one with um, some chestnut little bits of chestnut burr in it so and um, there's one in the green with um, I think it's a little bit of Ellen burr in that one as well so yeah some Ellen Burr as well so yeah looking forward to getting some of these turned so I take these over and I get them cleaned up on the belt sander so I'll just move these to one side so just give them a little clean with a little bit of alcohol See the pine cone effect. So I use two different color blues, a little bit of silver, just give it a little mix. So some of them had two pine cones, some of them had one. So really nice down as well. So This one is the red. That turned out really, really nice. And this is the pink one for my daughter. So I used two different color pinks and I think one of them I popped a tiny little bit of silver in it as well. Pink, red, blue, blue, blue and silver. So there we go, guys. So guys, that's a wrap on this video. Um, it might be a little bit of a longer one than, than usual, but um, there was just a, a good many parts to the process, you know, from stabilizing the pine cones to um, getting them into the vacuum chamber with cactus juice and stabilizing them to mix in resin and it is a bit of a it is a bit of a long process but i think it was well worth it in the end um, these are really re as I said, really good quality um, right? so i'm looking forward to turning some of these in in a, in, a, in a future in a future video so anyway um thanks for watching guys and hope you hope you hope you like the video and i shall catch us all in the next one so take care and bye for now